Hello everybody, welcome to another Honkai Star Rail video. Today I'm going to be discussing why I've decided to save my bonds in Herda's store. Now, here, I mean, here's just the main reason, right? So I got this one because it's a very good light cone, it's a destruction light cone, and I use it often. I have it on Jing Liu, and she has loved using it. I got this light cone right here because it's a really good hunt light cone. I, in fact, I think I still have it on Dr. Ratio. Um, Dr. Ratio is the one who is using it. He's doing great with it. Before I had Dr. Ratio, I had it on Shu Shang. Honestly, not the best, but this is the very first one I ever got. So my Shu Shang was actually still relevant whenever I acquired this light cone in the past. Um, but once I got Clara, and then I had, you know, coverage for the physical weakness. And then on top of that, once I got Dr. Ratio, so I had a much better hunt character, it went on to him. It's very, very good, and I have them both fully uh, superimposed. My issue with these two light cones is that this is, a, this is, of course, a good Nihility light cone. But the problem is that it is based off of dealing dot damage. Um, and I just don't have dot characters. I have zero. I don't have, uh, I don't have Kafka. I don't have Black Swan. And I, I don't have my Gwaniathan built, I don't have my Luka built, I don't have my Sampo built, none of them, none of them. Um, and therefore, it, there's just no reason for me to use it. It's just that simple. It's for dot characters, and I don't use dot characters. And then over here is the texture of memories. This is for preservation. I think that this is actually the worst light cone. Maybe people would uh, disagree. I think this is far and away the worst one. Um, and effect resist by 16%, like 16% effect, res is effect resist is like, okay, it's whatever. Um, if the wearer is attacked and has no shield, they gain a shield equal to 32% of their max HP for two turns. Honestly, that could be seen as a pretty good light cone for Fu Shuan. This, the, this, I, you know what, I actually could see myself considering to get this, but honestly there's more of a reason why i don't want to get this and it's because i would rather save it up so if the wearer has a shield when attacked the damage they receive decreases by 24 percent so basically it takes a unit that doesn't have a shield gives them a shield and then increases their damage the problem that i see with that of course is that um no actually this is better uh the problem that i foresee with that is that uh The problem that I foresee with that is like it, it, Adventuring has a shield. Uh, Fire MC has a shield despite it being small. And who else? Who else? Uh, what's his name? Japard. Japard has a shield. So the only person that this would be really great on, especially because you know they build max HP, so that would actually kind of synergize, would be Fu Shuan. And for Fu Shuan personally, I just have the the one that straight up just reduces the amount of damage she takes. I can go to it for you guys and show you guys which one I often use on Fushuan. Japard has the four star Topaz light cone, and that is because um that what that's uh what you know I use him in my Acheron team to put more burns and debuffs on people. Uh, where's my Fushuan? There we go. I have Landau's choice on my Fushuan. It's superimposed four, and it's just that. She's more likely to be attacked, and the damage taken is reduced by 22%. That's really it. It just straight up reduces the damage she takes by 22%. And then, of course, that stacks with uh, the relics, reduced damage taken by 8%. So she currently has 30% less damage. She just takes 30% less damage, and that's really good because usually all damage goes into her, and I've definitely been saved from getting one shot many times because of, you know, having these things. Uh, so that's pretty much why I don't want the other two light cones that are currently in my shop. Uh, I would much rather save for a future one. Now, this is the second part to it. HSR, they add things to simulate universe all the time. And I feel like there is no way that like, especially once enough time has passed where like, if you wanted all four of these, you could have them and I'll have them superimposed. By the time that much time passes, I'm sure they will decide to come out with maybe some expansion to this or maybe add something to this. I, I'm 
there's no way that this Herda store is just left untouched forever. Like, I, I don't believe it because the devs of this game are so good. They're not just going to forget about this. I have faith that they will revisit this. And when they do, hopefully they will add an ear edition because we're missing that. They will add an ear edition and uh, abundance light code. Those are the two that we're currently missing. Um, I believe that's it that we're currently missing because there's six packs. Yeah, yeah, I believe it's just Abundance and Iridition. Hopefully, they come in, they revisit this, they add at least both of those to the store. And when that happens, I want to, in the case of them being really, really good, I would like to have Herdabon saved to instantly buy them and superimpose them and then put it on my account and then tell you guys about it. I think that'd be great. Uh, I think that's just a better idea. Rather than being like, okay, well, I guess, like, there's nothing really to spend it on, so I'm just going to make shit up and buy these light cones that I don't really feel are that great. Especially this dot one, uh, not even anywhere near uh, good for my account in particular. Um, So, I mean, that one definitely opens up if you're one of the people who have, you know, dot comps. This one definitely opens up, and then maybe, you know, the texture of memories, the preservation one. Is the only one you decide not to get but yeah with all that being said that is basically what i'm saying i i just hope that the hsr devs revisit this and um yeah and add more to it i think that the herda shop it's it's a really nice way for free-to-play players and low spenders to get good solid light cones it's just you know sometimes if you're going a specific build they're not all going to be, you know, if you have specific characters and you're doing specific teams and things like that, not all of them are going to be good for you, right? So, yeah, thank you all for watching. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. Tell me what you think about the Herda's Bond, uh, the Herda store uh, in the comments below. And let me know if you think that, you know, hopefully it's, it'll be soon. Let me know when you think that they're going to add um, more light cones to it. Peace.